God bless you and God speak. Okay, thank you. Tell Mama I say hello and get ready for breakfast in the morning. I, I shall do that. She had me going and buying some melon uh, fruit cups. She says I want a fruit cup like Phyllis Bill's eating. So <laughs> now I've got. Um, I love my seventy-year-old. You're having a positive impact out here on eating habits and, and eating healthy and good food, and so you know, keep that going too. Thank you. Every now and then, I try to eat healthy. Okay, thank you, lobbyists. I'll talk to you later. Bye bye. Okay, next up, honey, we got Miss Rivka. Rivka, what's up, Rivka? How are you doing? Shalom. 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 I am back, y'all. You've been MIA. Huh? You've been MIA. No. Well, you know my number, girl. If you wanted to check, you know, check on the sister. Let's keep it 100. I'm glad you was all right. I'm glad you was all right, though. <laughs> yeah, well, I've been fasting. Um, I've been praying. And I'm spiritually, everyone, I'm very spiritual. And I was on a spiritual journey of cleansing and everything else. And um, I had some personal things I needed to take care of. So, check on the sister sometimes, you know? <laughs> okay, well, I, well I've been under siege over here, Rivka. I've been under siege, girl, but I'm I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be all right. Well, what? you know what, you've been in my prayers as I light my candles for Andre in my spiritual realm. <laughs> I have my candles going for you, girl, so, you know? Okay. So, let me keep it up, but, but. So, well, tell us, how do you feel? What are your thoughts about the uh, the verdict and everything. What do you have to say? I am overjoyed, but I was faithful and I stayed in the faith and knowing and knowing when you know when you know mm -hmm. that justice was going to be a guilty verdict and that was going to be the outcome because I was on juries. I was in federal juries at court in New York, here and there. And I knew we was going to get a guilty verdict. But my thing was, was to pray for all the supporters, to pray for the Greek family, to pray for everyone, because we are one big family on Eat With Philly So platform, okay? And PP's been at this, not new to this, but true to this. And we've been rocking and rolling, and we've been knocking down haters that came, that wanted to say, this and that and that and that, but didn't want to keep with the facts of what we was trying to do. Point blank, period. With justice for Andre, our love and our support for the Greg family, and to see this through as supporters of Welcome to Sweetie Pie. We invested in that show. We was able to talk about this show as we see fit. And if certain people did not like it, that was okay. We had our opinions. We said what we said because we live in the United States of America. And there's free speech, okay? And that's what we did. And we got justice. So I am happy. I am glad. But I knew in my heart of hearts, okay, that Andre, Dre Dre Day, was going to be victorious. That's why I kept saying to everybody, Victory, victory on your platform, on any platform, because at 30 today, guys, all content creators are family. Because the news didn't give a damn. They wasn't out there on this case. They wasn't doing anything. But the U.S. attorney, Slater, Fleming, and her, and her group, and, and all the people that worked for her, they did a damn good job. And I can say that word, because that's not a bad word. They did a good job bringing this evil, Timothy, social path, narcissist, Norman, to justice. And the last legacy, Montgomery, Andre Montgomery was the last legacy of this family. And it's gone with him. But he was fighting, and his mother, Michelle Griggs, her beautiful, beautiful heart and soul I felt. And this wasn't going, this was going, when this all came down, I felt Andre's spirit and knew he was hated. But his mama is the one that said, I ain't giving up. And she didn't give up. She did not give up. And we didn't give up. And the world around the world didn't give up. And people praying. In the Netherlands, in Switzerland, my friends, my family, in Israel, in Africa, praying for this young man that was 21 years old, that did not have 
a chance to live his life as he so fit. I am grateful, y'all. I am grateful. And I love everybody. And I always come with love for everybody. Everyone. We are one family, one people. And I love everyone that was on this case. And I am saddened that PP is going through what she's going through. But I told you, PP, that I am here for you. And what the hell? I'm other let me let me add this other call. Hold on, Rivka. Okay, caller, are you there? Hello? Child, he playing. Okay, Rivka, he playing yeah. games. You know what? You call her sister, girl. You you don't know what people's going through, and you should not do that at all. At all. And I'm and I'm mad that you did that to me. I told you if I got your front, your back, and your side, you gotta have my Rifko, front. Riff go, Riff go here side. complaining about a moderator stick, girl. We ain't after talking about no moderator stick. We talking about Dre, okay? Well, listen, I know <laughs> we ain't talking about no moderator shit, but you know what? Don't make me feel some type of way, shit. Okay? I'm gonna keep it a buck. Come on, now you, you got the you got to regroup. Come on, what's up? You know, if, look Who's if that, if you go look Rivka. If that, if a moderator, yeah. wait a minute, if a moderator stick go, you see all the shit I'm taking over, all the incoming. Come on now, I'm gonna need you to. I'm gonna need you to toughen no, up. I didn't know what you were taking because I wasn't in the loop at I'm nothing. Because I was away, girl. Don't you understand what I'm telling you? Hello, but now I'm back. Okay, I'm back. Okay? Oh my goodness! I'm just keeping the real. I'm keeping it real. That's what I do. She keeping I it real. One Wait, on these streets, she keeping me. it real with Philly Phil, and I'm keeping it real too. I'm gonna need you to get it together, sister. All right, we're going to talk after a while. We're going to go to the next call. You know I love you. I'm going to need you to come on down, okay? Oh, am I online? Uh, uh, yes, ma'am. <laughs> I, I, I want the people to hear you. You over here. She over here. She over here. Yeah, baby. <laughs> she letting it out. She done went from praising Andre to talking Listen, about Listen, this is my day. I've been with you from day one on this, this thing here. We've been working on this case. Oh, so my honey, goodness. My day. Okay? Rip honey, go day. ahead, honey. Every, you, wait a minute. Look, everybody else call me. You go ahead, girl. Go ahead, child. Y'all see what I, y'all see what I have to deal with? All you different personalities, everybody got something to say. I don't know what to do. <laughs> well, I got to get you. You wait, too, girl. Come on. Hold on. Hold on. Let me get this call. <laughs> Hold on, Carla. Let me let me add you in if I can. Carla, are you there? Hello, Carla. Hello? Yes, how are you? This Philip Field. Yeah, this Philip Field. Can you hear me good? Oh yes, I can hear you. Um, Sean, hmm. this is Sean. Wait a minute. Hold on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. So this is Sean. Everybody want to know yeah. where Sean at. You know, let me say this. I don't know. I don't control Sean. I don't control none of these grown folks. I'm going to do my show every day. And if people want to come on, they can. But I'm not going to go out hunting for nobody like I'm the elf, like I'm Sailor Fleming or somebody. OK, so quit asking me where people at. Quit tagging me talking about where people at. When they want to come, they will come. They, they grown. They got other things to do. They work. They might have family issues. OK, Sean, go ahead. What I was saying, just to let everybody know, uh, usually I miss the show because of my work schedule, so I don't have to catch the replay. Thank you. I'm, I'm still there. Um, there's so much that's going on. But I just want to shout out to Ms. Gregg, Ms. Michelle Gregg. Uh, now you can finally mourn the death of your son in peace. Because what she went through these past four years, I wouldn't wish on my worst enemy. That's number one. Number two, when the sister, I don't know if that was a sister that did the interview or an aunt that with the blonde hair after the court, after the uh, uh, guilty I think verdict. That was, that was, Kay, that was the sister, but I think the aunt spoke to, I haven't watched the entire interview yet because uh, the, this, the part that I heard or know about okay. is just horrific. Okay. The part that really, that really got to me when she said, he treated Dre when he was dead. We didn't, a lot of us didn't know all of this and how he was living. And it brought me back to when I first called you, Philly Bill, and Miss Loretta was on the line. Mm -hmm. And when I said it on condition. And when she said that, 
that proved everything I said was correct. And I'm going to let you know something, Philly Phil. Not only did you did an excellent job with this, and I, some things I'll just wait until later on for another time, but what I want to say is you're okay. going to find, but when it's all over, we're going to have a lot to say. But I'm you got going that back right. To, uh, but I'm going to go back to uh, uh, um, Dre. Um, the things that this boy had to go through while being over there was horrific. We didn't know this because we only see what we see on TV. When they said that, and this is not alleged, this is the facts that came out in court with him, how, and how he wanted to be a mentor and Take him under the wing and show him how to be a man. No, that wasn't that wasn't a problem. Calling Miss Griggs and getting him to come back, he did it for a reason, and that was the reason right there. And another thing, something else we nobody's not talking about. Remember the text message that uh Tim sent to uh Dre about his mama. Well, I didn't. I didn't know he sent. I saw a message where he told somebody else that Miss Michelle was a piece of shit, but I don't know who that. I can't okay. remember who it was okay. sent to. Okay, it was somebody else. But yeah. Okay, fine. That goes to show you he had contempt for that boy's mama. Think about that. Yeah. He didn't give a damn about that boy's mama. He didn't like. He. I'm gonna say he hated that boy's mama because we family. How do you go to another family member? This came out in court. How do you go to another family member after they lost their child and you say, my condolences on your loss? That's the, when you say that, you say that to somebody like a co-worker, someone you met on the street, someone you don't know. But this is family. How do you walk up to a family member and say, my condolences on your loss? Think mm. about that, Philly Phil. I, I Think agree. About this goal with that dude. I agree. Oh, and I just, and, hey, Sean, I just remember, yeah, they just reminded me. That was Wally he was texting back and forth with when Wally asked him, and he said his mom, he said she a piece of shit. That's when he said that about Miss Michelle. Tim did. Yeah, okay, it was Wally. But it, it still goes to show the contempt that he had for this woman who never did him a damn thing. Right. So my question is, not only was it jealousy and envy and the money, but he had a hatred for this woman. And this is why when he could go up there and walk up there, and this came out in court, so it's not a legend. He could walk up there and say, my condolences on your loss. Nothing else. Come on. It's my condolences like a stranger. Are you kidding me? And nobody's not talking about that. He had it in for this woman, too. And nobody's not paying attention. But just like I said it in the first beginning when I first told you, and he was used up in a worst way possible. And that boy had a good heart. Like, I'm gonna say that already, and I'm gonna say that these are Sean's opinions and Sean's thoughts and Sean's views and not necessarily that of the content creator, which is myself. Okay, go ahead, son. And if anybody got a problem with what I'm saying, that's what the sister said. Take up with them. Because they're telling the truth. That's what the uh, uh the prosecution came up with. Anybody got a problem with anything? Philip Phil said, take it up with the court because she read it from the damn paper with black and white. Facts. I'm reading from and, the document. I don't know what the hell wrong with these damn people that you want. How she wrong? She reading what they put out. <laughs> exactly. We're not going to play that game over here. Hey, Sean, if somebody else, if, Sean, if somebody else read it, oh, it's just fact. If I read it, I'm making it. What am I? I don't get it. I'm getting the same documents, people. Because you have stupid, ignorant ass people who are miserable in their own lives trying to defend people that they don't even know and probably will never even meet. You see what I'm saying? So we have this thing, and I told people this maybe it was on your channel. We have this thing with celebrity. We have this thing with people with money. We go with the celebrities and we go with the people with money. No matter if they're wrong or right, we just go and jump on their shit. And we like that. But right is right, wrong is wrong. When you're wrong, you are wrong. I don't give a damn how much money you got. I don't care how popular you are. I don't care how pretty you are or handsome. When you're wrong, you are wrong. And I was so happy that you put the pictures up with Sean. 
Jones and his two sisters and um Joyce, I believe two sisters mm-hmm. and taking a picture with them. That picture did so much to me in the inside when I seen Charles. Charles made up his mind as a grown man. He had to take a side. And even though the other side was finances, he had to take the side which was right. And that's part of being a man. Standing up on your principles and your beliefs and knowing what's right. And I really appreciated seeing him. Now I love Charles even more now. I appreciate seeing him taking a picture with Dre's sisters. And that was a beautiful picture. And that was a beautiful picture. Not only with Charles, with Dre, the last picture. That was a beautiful picture. Because that boy loved his cousin. And we got this lunatic take, help, help, taking this boy out, setting, setting this boy up to be having his life taken. This is not a logic. This is fact. He's guilty on the charges, so I can say it. Set this boy up to be him and change so many people's lives. Not only Miss Graves and uh, uh, our his uncles and his cousins and his sisters and his aunts and all those people who really love him unconditionally, but change the people's lives of the people who watch the show, who actually fell in love with Dre and Charles, who I think could have broke off and got a reality show themselves. My opinion. Yes, me too. Oh, and I think some people would, I think Kim would show for that too. But yeah, they I, were I they were the know. stars. They were the real stars of the show. Dre and Char- to me, that's it, my opinion. Exactly. I used to laugh at because I know I don't really watch reality shows, but I would turn it on and see them too. And I would laugh at them because they were sometimes incompetent, sometimes they were lazy, and sometimes they would drag them on and get people a food too late, and I thought it was hilarious. Mm-hmm. But they were good together. And what, they, and what Kim did was dirty, loud, and evil. But what I want, something else I wanted to say, right quick, and I'm not gonna say the name, because it's not about the case, it's not about the case. But I was listening to someone when I was driving one night, I was at work, and I just pressed play. And everything that was saying was starting to sound familiar. And I'm like, oh, well, they're getting that from such and such, you know, whatever. But then, when they started to throw shots at you, I had a serious problem with them. With them. I'm not going to sit in there, I'll talk to you offline about that. But what I'm saying is, Stay on your game, Philly Bill. Don't link up with nobody. Don't hook up with nobody on YouTube because they got a lot of people who don't like what you're doing because you're doing it the right way. And this particular content creator had, uh, in one of her thumbnails, had Ms. Loretta State on her uh, Wichita column. And I really don't care for her too much. <laughs> and, but, uh, what I want to say is, I, y'all, might, y'all might know who she is. And I'm not saying to say her name, but I just want to well, don't, don't say it. I don't want to yeah. talk about you in private. I want right. to talk to you in private about that. Okay. So but what I'm saying is, she also said in one of her uh, posts, uh, she wanted Miss, Miss Griggs to, I know where she got that from, but that, I digress. But she said, she might be mad with me right now because I cussed her out. So in other words, you want to cuss Miss Greg out. She's been going through this shit for four years. And she finally got justice. And you mean to tell me you cuss this lady out because she don't respond to you or she don't move the way you want her to move? I got a serious problem with her. That so we're going to talk about that offline. Yeah. And I'll let you bring that to your own channel if you want to. But right now, I'm going to let you go. And then I'm going to call it. And right now, because I got a lot to say, but, it, 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 but I'm going to talk to you about that offline. But another, I want everybody to know, when all this is said and done, when all this is over with, people are going to have to start realizing that people, we will be seen. So I want people to start paying attention to that. But I'll talk to you later, Philly Joe, and I love that picture that you have right now, when people Charles and them two girls up there right there, because it shows Charles has a mind of his own, and he knows what was right and what was wrong, and I'm glad he's on that his his in his family, because that's what his real family is. You don't love me on condition. Either you love me all the way, or you don't love me at all. Period, point blank. And I don't give a damn who's taking it the way they want to take it. And as for that lady who could call, she could kiss my black you-know-what. 
sure I save Sean number so I can um get back with him because Sean got some things to say. Hold up. There it is right there. Let me save this contact. Wait a minute, y'all. Hold on. Um, I see some people was trying to hold on, Rivka. Uh somebody was trying to call. Miss Crystal here. And I want to let me see. Let me try to call him back. Let me try to call them back. I want everybody to have a chance to speak. Hey, Philly Phil. Hey, how you doing? Okay, I'm calling you back. Everybody can hear you. All right, this is Shabazz. How you doing, sister? You know what? I'm going to tell you something. You have been the champion for Andre from from the beginning, and all those other people piggybacked off you, okay? That's well, why they try you, because they're not relevant. I mean, they're good people in their own right, but my thing is you are the reason why this has come to the forefront and that lady calling you when you're doing everything right you you don't need nobody you don't need no help you know you look aunt just, uh told you she tells you some very and i'm gonna tell you something okay I'll now what you about. say I'll be, sir I'll be, I'll be kind <laughs> i'll be kind i'll be kind you know i love you so much i really do thank and, um, you i love I you too like, I, I just don't <laughs> like to see nobody trying to come for you and talk about did you and they talk about she gonna pray for you. She needs to pray for her own stuff. You don't need no devil praying for you. Thank and you. It's always it's always those kind of people talking about. I I'm gonna pray for you. No, you pray for your own self, lady. And stay off her page. All of you all don't like us. Stay off her page. Right. That's what I don't understand. If you don't like, why do you watch? Crazy. They are jealous of you. That's all it is. Because you're doing something right. And she they don't even realize God got people backing you up. You will have the funds to want her son to be thing he deserved from the day I saw Tim on that show. And when that boy came, or when Andre came on that show, the way he treated him, I kept telling my family, he ain't hate that boy. I said, look, he ain't nothing but a big ass bully. <laughs> and, 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 it proved, and it proved right. He's a bully. Right, Andre right. was shining. Andre was the shining star. And, and even in his death, he has become popular. And, he was, and his name will live forever like Emmett Till. That's right. That's right. They made they made him a celebrity in death. Mm -hmm. and, and I hope Andre mother Tim. Okay. They, Tim needs to be what well, you can't sue him because he's going to prison for life and rightfully so he should be. He, he with his big hips and go grandmama arms and stuff. I can't stand that man. I mean, I'm so sick of what he did to that boy. It's just this stupid. I know. I Jealousy. agree. Yes. Jealousy. Yes, 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 yes. Over he, a child. I don't, I don't over, get you it. You came out of prison. You said it was greed. It was greed. It is greed. And I was so happy to see um, Charles and them pose with the family um, after court. That was a, with the T-shirt. So that was beautiful. Yes, I have yeah, that, that picture, that, but I don't have it on here. But I do have this one, him with the sister and the cousin. Yeah, and, 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 my, and that tells me right there that he knew all along with his cousin. So you know what? It, it's all good. You it's know, good, you because know. I heard, I mean, I wasn't there in the court, but I think somebody said something no. might have come out about Charles. Somebody had told him he might be next or something like that. I don't know. That, that's a legend because I'm not sure how that went. But if you guys know in the <laughs> chat, something about Tim well, I, may have threatened him. I don't well, know. I can tell you this. If, if they had called Charles up there, Charles would have sunk um, Tim's ship because Charles ain't the person can handle a lot of pressure. And he would have told the truth. He would have told how he felt. Because mm. when they talked about how he got beat up and pushed around by Tim on that show, and he's in there crying and whatnot, when Tim did that to those boys, and I, I said to myself, why don't he do that to me? You know, why don't, why don't he do that to me? There's a whole lot of guys that would love for him to try to bully us. You know, this yeah. is horrible. Man, I, you know what? A, I could not stand a bully. I, I hated them in school. I hate them in, I, when I was going to church back in the day. I cannot stand bullies. And men know who to pick on. Some men only pick on women. 
because they can't handle men. They know they can't handle a real man. So Tim knew he couldn't handle picking on a real man. Let me tell you something. Every woman he had, he got into a fight with him. He was always confrontational because because he, he's he's a woman himself. He argued with his mother. He argued with his girlfriend. He jumps down his throat. He wants to. I mean, what is that all about? Yeah, Andre is a handsome man. When when they talk about he lived in the apartment and and he what would invite him over. He told him not to come over. No, yeah, because they they looking at you and they looking at. If, 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 if there was a choice, who would you pick? You know. Right. I wasn't no big. He's horrible, man. I'm, he is horrible. <laughs> well, oh, he's disgusting. The he, whole that whole clan is disgusting. Well, we, it's nothing but greed, and that's all they talk about is money, money. How to get more money? That's what the mm. attorney, the attorney said. It all came down to one thing: greed. I mean, the the, the prosecutor. I think that was Sailor Fleming said it came down to greed. She was you right. You ain't got to worry about nothing, baby girl. You, you victory is yours. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna tell you this. You know, Yolanda Adams has a song that says, "This battle ain't yours. It's the Lord. Think about it and then start shouting. Start shouting over your victory. You done already won this one. All right. You done already well, thank won you this so one. much. You done already won. Those is all. You got angels posted all around you throughout this United States. Well, thank you. You got you got people in in D.C., Washington, people. Uh, Silver Spring, Virginia, South Carolina. You got all posted all around. You ready, ready to stand up for you because you are you a true sister. And I'm gonna say this to you, sister. I, I think I mentioned this to you before. You stood in the in the in the uh, place of Miss Michelle, his mother. No, no, I, I, no. I don't want to say that. Now, listen, 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 listen. She couldn't do it like you did, but she was yeah. grieving. But you having this show. Putting her son name out there like you did, and and and, and, and you was the first one that said justice for Andre, justice for Andre. You did it, and God blessed you. You did it. You brought the. You shined the light on this one. You did that. Well, well let me say this. His mother. No, his mother called that. She called those prosecutors every day. She was doing things behind the scene. She was doing. Yes, no, I know she was. I know she was. But she, but, but but I know she did. And she and and, and they mentioned that yesterday. Uh, the day before yesterday, right? And, 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 and then that's good. she, she, she kept the fight thing. alive for her son. Now, you know, I might have yes, been out on did. my channel, but she kept that fight alive for her son. And you know, she left me a comment, you know, and, and thank me for what I, you know, the videos and stuff I've done. And she thanked everyone. Oh, I know so, you have. And, 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 and I appreciate and that. When his uncle called you that day and had tears in his voice, it broke my heart. And I yeah, know how Mr. He, Willie, yeah, the, you know, the, the misconception of these young boys trying to play like their thugs. They really not thugs. We not, they, can't, they, they can't be thugs. You know what I mean? Yeah. Andre was no thug. He was that's all was an act. You know what I mean? If, <laughs> and, and like his other aunt said, if he had that money, he would have been spending money and spurging. He wouldn't know what to do all that kind of money. Right. Young folks, young folks show what they do with money. So you know he ain't do nothing. You you know, but you was on top of that from day one, sister. You know, don't 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 fret not over them. They nothing to fret. Look, I wish I could just. Oh, I ain't worried about them now. I ain't worried. I could care less. <laughs> well, I know you can, and I like the way you you, you just handled it too. You know what I mean? Who's talking, telling you that you dragging somebody? You ain't dragging nobody. I don't drag nobody, child. <laughs> let me Hello, you, let, 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 let me tell you something. Fox, uh, 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 Channel Five and Channel Four News. They told the whole uh, state what was going on. And all you you hear you as a Bluetooth blogger and, and, and everybody coming for you. That ought to tell you how God is getting ready to elevate you. You get ready to be elevated to something greater. You have an audience bigger than you know. Oh, I hope so. You got and you and you are nothing like Wendy Williams. Okay, please. I know somebody said I was a Wendy Williams. Oh, child, these people know you they be coming up. Nothing like no stuff. Wendy Williams. Wendy Williams is a gossiper and a trash talker. You are woman of principle. You are a matter of fact. Type woman, okay? You give it like it is, okay? You shoot straight from the hip. You got the angels posted around you. You a soldier. Amen. You're, you're a true soldier. You ain't no, you ain't no gossiper. No, I'm and not. if you ever need them, if you call me, call your brother Shabazz in Silver Spring. I sure call will. Call your brother. You better hold on to my number. Call your brother. I got uh, you saved in here. Because <laughs> I'm a plain spoken brother. And, I, and you know where, where I want to go, but I can't do nothing until after your thing is over. But when that's over, I want to 
All right. Well, I thank you so much, sir, for calling in. And we love you, sister. Love you, sister. <laughs> love you. Strong, stay on the battlefield, and I will always listen to your show and support you. And I will be sending you money. Okay. Thank you. Thank be, you so I much. You can have look a woman like you can have my money. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Well, child, the defense a woman, fund needs a it. Like, hey, look, a, a woman like you can have my money. You a ride or die. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. I want to thank you. Oh, Lord. Hey, Tommy. <laughs> you, 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 make a, you make a brother go back to church or something. <laughs> Girl, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> Rifka, shut up. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I love you because I ain't gonna stay on the phone with you long. I right. back and listen. Oh my goodness. Okay, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome, baby girl. Bye-bye. <laughs> oh my goodness, y'all a mess. Okay. Um, uh, who is this? First time watching from Southeast Tech. Rifka, what you laughing at? Hold on, we got another call coming from St. Louis. Uh oh. Hello, St. Louis. Hello. Hello. Oh, hello. Hi, Shelly. This is Janine calling. Yes, ma'am. Go ahead. Call it from St. Louis, right? Yes. First of all, I want to say, how about them cowboys? How about them cowboys, girl? You know I'm representing. <laughs> yes, my sister lives in Dallas. Well, I want to call about the topic. We were talking about how much time do we think Tim is going to get. Well, first of all, I've been through a federal case myself. I had a business crime before. And I, that's another reason why I followed this so, so closely is because I've been to the feds before. I only did two and a half years, but I saw a lot and I saw a lot of people fight their cases and help them <clears throat> fight their cases from the inside. And, you know, like all the paperwork that you have been getting, that you've been doing such an excellent job providing us, when you're inside federal prison, you have access to all those documents on the computer um, inside the law library. Okay, okay. Um, <clears throat> what I wanted to say was is that usually people get double time when they go to trial because the, the government feels like, you know, the, no, you didn't waste our time. You're, you're about to get double. Like if some, I know one lady, she was offered a plea agreement of only one year. She took them to trial and she got 14 years. So I figured attempts to get about 150 years. You know, I was going to look it up, but I think these, his charges, I mean, they carry a life sentence, one, if not two of them, right? Um, yes, and I want to know, are they going to charge him separately on each charge, or is it going to what's called run concurrently Concurrent. together? His attorney, if they'll probably run concurrently, I mean, well, you know, I don't know. I don't know, but... That was the question I wanted to pose. I don't know, um... But there's the order for his sentencing, December the 15th, guys. Mm, and mm -hmm. he has been found guilty on all of those charges. Mm, 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 mm. I, I truly believe yeah. he'll be there for the rest of his life. You know, um, William Barr took the death penalty off the table back in 2020 for yeah, all three that. of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so... He's definitely going to get way more than he normally would if he would have accepted a plea agreement or not taken them to trial. Everyone knows that you cannot beat the feds because when they come for you, they got their eyes dotted and they T's crossed. And, uh, you know, I just really broke down crying when I saw the Greg family come out the courtroom. I've been very sick this week because I only live three blocks away from the courtroom. I lived in downtown St. Louis. And I, but before I got sick on Monday, I did, I was circling around there trying to be nosy, trying to see who I could see. <laughs> um, <laughs> Yes, and uh, <clears throat> I would have been, and I saw that beautiful picture with Charles. Looks like they went to a restaurant because we've been having Cardinals games. Maybe they caught one of the games together, too. 
Oh, you know, I don't know where they were when they took that picture, but it was a, it it looks is like a, nice a restaurant. Picture. It looks like a restaurant nearby, but I couldn't believe it just broke my heart to hear what kind of condition, living condition that Andre living in. And I live in what's called the Lost District downtown, and there's a lot of penthouses like, you know, they described that Tim was living in. I, I'm going to find out, I'm going to dig and find out which one he was living in, because I don't understand how they can have have Andre and one that was looking like a slum and and what from what they described he didn't even have a real bed that just really bothered me that he didn't even have a decent bed to sleep in well because what I'm saying is if, if you're in a penthouse what penthouse lives next to I thought I don't understand and then the next door is a slum apartment that just didn't make sense to me but that's and what they it reported. doesn't make sense to me either. And it made it seem that it was in the same building. So I didn't understand the setup. And then I was thinking between all the cars and stuff is I have seen Tim running around in different uh, cars. And actually, uh, in I'd say maybe 20, maybe 2018, I saw Tim in a tan escalade by my parents house at uh getting some ice and all i like to think to myself mm -mm -mm, i can't stand that bully <laughs> girl i'm glad you didn't go up to him and say nothing mm. i know and you know what philly ever got to tell you this tidbit um, in 2020, in August 2020, right before Tim got busted in Mississippi, one of my friends was coming back, was flying back in St. Louis from Dallas, and she was at the St. Louis airport, and she called me. She said, girl, I've seen Tim up there at the airport in a black Range Rover. I heard that, Tim. Hmm. Well, we know where yeah. he is now. Yeah, exactly. So, you know, they were probably just waiting on him to go back home so they can bust him when he was living in, in Mississippi. And also, you know, I just wanted to clear one other thing up. When I had called the other day, called you the other night when I was talking about, you know, uh, Terica at Bottoms Up, what I was trying to say to you was I feel as if Tim set up that whole thing. I feel as if that he told Andre to go to Bottoms Up, and then he told Tarika to approach Andre. I feel like the whole thing was a setup. Mm. Like one of your other callers said before, that they just feel like, what well, Sean just said before, that he feels like it was a setup on Tim's behalf from from day one. And getting Miss Griggs to send his personal information, he probably lied and said, you know, I need this personal information to get him an apartment or something. When really we all know he was using it for insurance purposes. Okay, so see, I didn't know that. So he got his social and all that stuff from his mom? Yeah, that's what they said. In court, yeah, okay. They, so they were saying that he got it. Some people thought he may have gotten it from the files at work, like when you... Be, they fill out paperwork at work, but she actually sent him that information. See, I didn't know that. Yes. Yes. That's what I'm hearing. I don't know. Allegedly. I don't know where this information came from, but all I could think was he probably told that lady he was trying to, you know, help get him an apartment because she really believed in the fact that he was trying to mentor him in a father like man like way. And it just wasn't the case. Mm -hmm. Summer Breeze said, yes, Michelle sent it to him. She didn't know why she was sending it to him. Though he ought to be ashamed of himself. Well, you know what? He's oh, convicted now. He's guilty. He's guilty. He's guilty. Like she said, that monster is in jail behind bars. So he And you know, I'm telling you, I've been to federal prison. There is a lot that you can do with money when you're behind bars still. You can make all kinds of moves behind bars. And in federal prison, it's not going to be anything like his bid was in the state prison where you could freely, like in state prison, you could talk on the phone all day long. They don't play that in the feds. They have limitations. You can only spend $300 a month and that's it. It doesn't matter how much money that you have. You can spend up to like three something a month um, and you have to decide if that's between your phone and your commissary. And then you have like a $200 budget for craft items. And that's it. A lot of people get in trouble for having people sending money to other inmates accounts so they can do more with their, with their money. And they end up getting shipped out for that. Hmm. 
So you're saying in the federal prison, he will be limited to the amount of money he can spend. Yes, most definitely. Everybody knows all the feds cannot spend over 300 a month. And like how Tim is wearing regular clothes in this picture right here, and the state prisons, they can order out of a catalog and order, you know, like regular clothes like that. Really? You don't have those kind of privileges in the feds. So you telling me and, they can wear regular clothes in prison, regular prison? Yes. That, all them pictures you got of Tim when he was in jail before, um, they can order like them jerseys and stuff like that, like uh, sportswear. They'll let them order once a year. Because I've, I've had male friends that have been in state prison that told me that. Or they'll call me and be like, it's order time. Can, can you help me send <laughs> So I can give me some clothes, and I see Tim had a lot of clothes because his mom was taking care of him. Well, maybe he'll order some true religion jeans. <laughs> no pun intended. Look, that ain't an option. Wow. <laughs> and the fans, the best thing you can order is some Timberland boots instead of the steel toe boots. Um, all the privileges that he had in state prison, because you, everyone knows you can kind of buy the state. They have a lot of contracts with people for food and outside food and all that. In federal prison, we would fight over outside food. People would sneak to try to break into the vending machine for the outside food. Okay, that, wait. They're, know, they're, they're saying that you might have it backwards. So they're saying that the feds are supposed to be better than the state, but you're you're saying for sure that there's only a three hundred dollar limit in federal prison, and you don't think it's state prison? Oh, I've been to federal prison. I did two and a half years for business crimes, <laughs> so I know what I'm talking about. The perception that people have in America that the feds are sweet. The feds is sweeter because. That's how it used to be in the 90s. In the 90s, people were federal prisoners were able to do anything. But since the federal prisoners, prisoners were the ones that went in there with the most money and the big names like the John Gotti's of the world and all it is, they had to put these rules in place. Because I know a lady that told me they used to be stepping out in furs in the prison, and, and uh, she was on Larry Hoover's case. I met her when I was in federal prison that they used to be stepping out in fires in federal prison. They had to stop it. It was too much. So did you do your time at Missouri Federal Prison? Um, Actually, um, in the feds, they can send you anywhere in the world. I mean, I'm sorry, anywhere in America. So it depends on, they try to get you closest to home, especially if, if you're what's called camp status. Camp status is for low level prisoners. I was at the camp. So at first they sent me to Lexington, Kentucky, and then uh, I got transferred to Greenville, Illinois, which is 45 minutes away from St. Louis. So like in Tim's case, he's going to be sent by what they call behind the wall, behind the razor wire, which is called the FCI. Um, he's going to go to a maximum FCI, most likely. And also a lot of celebrities they say end up going to Carswell, Texas. Oh, Cars, Carswell, yes. Texas. Yes, and Carswell also is a place like if you have a, a terminal illness or a really bad illness, say like you have cancer or something and you're an inmate, they send you to Carswell as well. Well, okay. Well, how long ago did you do your time? Um, I did my time between, and I right after I met Andre, actually, I had to turn myself in in 2012. Uh, I did November 2012, and I came home in June of 2015. Wow. Okay. Yeah, so, you know, I know all the r rules in, in federal prison, and I'll probably have him in some type of solitary. Oh, I'm sorry. A lot of celebrities go to Arizona too, the federal prisons there. So they may have him out there. They're not going to be nice to him. Um, because of the level of crime that he has, they're probably going to send him somewhere that's not close to home. Hmm. Because a lot of the male St. Louis inmates, they end up going to Arkansas. I mean, not Arkansas. Don't say Arkansas. Um, <laughs> Seattle federal prisoner. I don't know. <laughs> 
I truly don't oh, know. Not Arkansas T. I went to this prison, and I'm trying to think of. I can't think of where it's at. You off know, the top of my T. Head. I was. I think we might have something up around Mariana somewhere. I don't know. I, I'm not sure. I know there is. <laughs> well, I hope we Mariana don't. We don't sure. need no federal prison in Arkansas. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, there there is one that is nearby. I just can't think of where it's at. If anyone wants to look up where T.I. went to prison, a lot of the St. Louis inmates either in there for the most part. Oh, Forest City. Okay, we do have, yeah, we Forest do have, City. yeah. We yes. do have. Where is that? What state is that in? That's in Arkansas, girl. Oh, Lord. I told you, I knew I, I knew Arkansas was somewhere in my head. How far is that for you, Phil? Don't worry about it. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I was far as from Little Rock. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't worry. In the past, they not getting out. They don't play this type of game. <laughs> Trust. They ain't finna. You ain't finna escape from that. Oh my goodness! Not Far City, Arkansas. Oh goodness! I know it was Arkansas. Oh my god! I know. Yeah, yeah. Ti mm -hmm. was in Far City. It's a chance that he could go to Forest City, but I think Forest City is only a camp. I don't believe it's an FBI. So, like I said, he's going to be in maximum security. Uh, he is not going to be camp status. No time soon. Uh, what's a camp status? Camp status means that you're lo a low-level uh, risk, security risk, and you can oh. walk around the camp freely. You have oh, free movement. No. Because whenever you're in uh, maximum security, you have what's called controlled movement. So they'll be like, okay, at 2 o'clock, you can go to the library. At 2.30, um, you know, you can go to the law library. Um, and camp, you can move around freely. Well, I don't think he should be on a camp or whatever you call it, system. Ain't no way in hell he's going to be at a camp. Mm -mm. <laughs> Just my opinion. <laughs> is going to go in there with the, the state prison mentality and it says it's a whole entirely different animal. You know, he is really low class. Wait a minute. C-Dubs. would be up in the feds. C-Dubs say Far City is 93.8 miles away from Philadelphia. <laughs> oh okay. <laughs> I'm moving anyway. I'm buying a new house. I'm out of here. I'm out of this state. I'm out. You are? I'm moving to Africa. <laughs> I'm going home. Now, let me stop. Are you like Tasha Kai? You trying to move to Morocco, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Come on to Africa, my sister. Come on to Africa. Oh, goodness. I'm going to cook me some fufu and some okra soup, okay? <laughs> Come on over there if you want to. Let me stop. Let me stop. It's really going to be interesting, too. I really want to know how much time Wally is looking at. I was looking at the sentencing scale. He's the only one, I think, that doesn't have a pre-existing crime because Erica, I believe, has some criminal stuff on her record, but it's petty stuff. But as long as it's a felony, it can affect you on what's called the federal point system. Yeah, I so read that point oh, system. That's another thing. I'm sorry, go ahead. No, I was going to say, when we read, when we went over there, uh, please, it, the judge talked about the the sentencing and the points and all of that stuff in those videos yes. that I did. Yes, because that's another thing. Tim has a vast criminal history. And I mean, it's vast. That right there is really going to send him up the river when it's time for sentencing. And he has two things against him. It's his vast, serious, criminal, long criminal history. And also, you know, him taking the feds to trial. He's, he's, you can put a fork in it. And, and she did, I mean, um, his, his criminal history did come out in court. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man, look at that. On the point scale, he is, y'all gonna be surprised, I'm telling you. I believe Tim's gonna get over 100 years. Ooh, goodness. Ooh, that's a long time. I really do. But that's because not long first enough. first of all, you get double time for taking him to trial. And then he has this long criminal history. And also, they have something in the feds that's called um, lifetime criminal. Is it lifetime um, because this, this girl that I met in there told me that they gave it to her, career criminal. They may give him a career criminal sentence. Yes, you're right. I heard of that too. Lifetime. 
criminal. Yes, career because he's been a career criminal, and he's truly a bad seed. My auntie said that about my cousin. He's been in jail since he was 18, and he came home at the age of 50 and still did all kinds of crazy stuff. And back in jail, right now, she said, you know what? He ain't nothing but a bad seed. Yeah, which is, he's a danger to the community of up outside. Yeah, right, yes, right. he is. Yep. He's definitely a danger, and they're going to hit him with career criminal, too. This is his... I believe this is his second or third uh, criminal felony case. Who, uh, uh, Tim? Tim, yeah, is this his second or third one? Third one. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, oh, Lord, third, oh. They're definitely going to hit him with career. I really want to know the legalities of that. I'm definitely going to try to research that. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Well, if you research it, you just come back and let us know what you find out, okay? You know I will. You know I will. You have been doing an excellent job. Like I said, you really, really have encouraged the other content creators to cover this story, and it definitely made national headlines, which I was so happy about, and I'm just so glad that it's over and we got justice. Yep, justice for Dre. We got it. We've been saying it for two yes, years. We did. A long two years, and we got it. <laughs> yeah, it's been a long, long two years, and we definitely got it. Okay, ladies. Well, thank you for listening to me today, and I'm gonna keep watching. All right, Bless thank you, ma'am, for calling in, and you have a wonderful rest of the Sunday. Okay. Okay. You too. All right. Bye bye. bye, -bye. <laughs> Okay, that was uh St. Louis, guys. All right, well, guys, I'm gonna get ready to get out of here. I gotta cook and I gotta get ready to watch the game. Oh, we got wait a minute. Let me see what Houston, Texas want. I gotta take a Houston call That's right up the street from Beaumont. Hold on, hold on. Hello, Houston. Hello, Miss Philly. Hello, how are you doing? Oh, I'm fantastic. Thank God. I tell you, got out of church at 1030 and I've been just praising and baby, Woo! nobody but Jesus. But anyway, this, this is my opinion and these are my views. So, so anybody get upset. Okay. Money, money comes before love and devotion mm -hmm. for Tim. What I see and what I saw in the show, anytime you curse your mother, something clicked the first time I heard him cursing his you know, that was that was that was just so disrespectful. I knew I said I had to trace this thing. I'm 80 years of age. So and I had my son at 21. I made a choice. People wanted my son. I'm like, uh-uh, I had him, I'm going to take care of him. And then the child comes back. Mm -hmm. You mean to tell me between that time frame, you end up by the time you're, what, 16, 17, you get a 10 and a half year sentence? We have to bag it up and take it off. Okay, and then he gets out, you know, who honestly, narcissistic. He was narcissistic. Borderline personality disorder. Just look it up after I get off, whoever doesn't get it. But anyway, it was so sad. He did not. And the relationship that was had by Tim and other adults, especially females, starting at a very, very young age, was love unconditional. This is how you love. Am I making sense? Um, a little bit, yes, yes, ma'am. I yeah, I'm sure they understand what you're trying to say, you know. But yeah, hey, yeah, but but my name. thing is, oh, in the end, he's a grown man. He know right from wrong. That's he know right. what he's doing. That's right. Oh, I'm not taking anything away from him because I want, I, I, I want you forever. And let me tell you, you're right on point. And, um, I, hey, if you need somebody, you too, ma'am. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me get ready to get off of here because y'all ain't gonna y'all ain't gonna do right. Y'all ain't gonna do right. Y'all just ain't gonna act right. Ain't gonna do right. <laughs> I'm not blaming you. I'm not blaming you. I was trying to find I was trying to find yes, I was trying to find something real quick, but um I cannot <clears throat> find it. Um so Rivka, is there anything else you want to say before we go? 
Well, one thing I like to say with joy is that, hey, Timmy, you <laughs> gonna have sweetie pies in the federal prison, baby. Get ready. Um, love y'all. Love you, Philly Phil. <laughs> Love you, you know, you must worry, y'all. Okay. <laughs> you know? oh, wait, what did you, wait, what, wait, what did you I just. I don't need to be no moderator. I was just joking. I, just, I had to just let you have it. I was, you know? I was giving you that's a hard time. York, that's the New York way, baby. Just beautiful. <laughs> you know who I am. <laughs> what, wait, what did you just say about Tim? What did you have to say to Tim again? <laughs> okay, you want to hear it again? You like that? Hey, 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 Timmy. Hey, hey Timothy Norman. Yo, what's up, boy? Listen, have fun in your new place called Sweetie Pies, baby, in the federal prison. Boo -boo. Have fun, baby. <laughs> it's going to be called the Sweetie Pies in the federal prison. That's where you're going. You're already there, but you're going to go somewhere. Far away for a lifetime. Have fun, boo. And it, won't, it won't be in... um. Far city. <laughs> That's right. It ain't gonna be where you are, girl. And if it's not, girl, don't worry. I'll get your mansion in Africa. I got you. <laughs> don't worry. Where you want? Where you want? Huh? No, I'm, I'm gonna stay okay. right over here in the good old U.S. of A. I was just joking. That was a joke, people. That was a joke. <laughs> <laughs> well, we love the United States. This is our home. I love everybody. You know, we hung in there. We stayed faithful, and we and we kept doing what we do. You know, we knew it was going to be justice. And those who was like, because I was getting a lot of people saying to me, oh, Rick, could you think this is going to be a guilty, uh, a guilty verdict? I said, listen, keep the faith, keep hope alive, and That's it's right. going to happen. Keep hope alive, keep hope alive. Okay, Rivka, thank you for stopping by, honey. I appreciate it. Call You're welcome, anytime. My sister. All okay. right, my girl. All right, I'll talk I love to you, you all. Shalom, shalom, shalom. We love you too. Uh, See you later. <laughs> bye bye. Go Cowboys, I hope. I know, girl. Go Cowboys. It's going to be a long day. All right. <laughs> bye bye. All right. Bye bye. Long, long time. Long time, honey. But I know. Yeah, yeah. Store. Everybody ain't your friend. Everybody ain't your partner. I say I got you, I got you. Well, just hold it down and keep it silent. And when you're not around, I protect your name. I won't talk about you. Everybody ain't your friend.